Hey there, how's it going? This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 529. Today, we're reviewing the other show that, based on the numbers, most of you don't pay any attention to. And I'm going to give you some reasons why maybe you should. We're talking about First Cup. This show, though, is Martial Arts Radio, Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio to be exact, because we are coming from Whistlekick Studios. I'm Jeremy Lesnick. I'm your founder here. I'm your host. I'm the guy in the background doing a bunch of stuff for the traditional martial arts because I love it, because I owe so much to it. If you've been following along with martial arts radio, you know how I feel about the traditional arts. And that's why we bring you this show twice a week. And if you want to learn more, go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Check out all the episodes. They're all available there. And if you want to see everything we're working on, First Cup and Martial Journal and all these other things, go to whistlekick.com. You'll see a lot of great stuff over there, including our store. If you want to support us, that's one of the easiest ways to do so. Make a purchase. Grab a shirt, grab one of our programs, lots of stuff there. And you can even save 15% using the code PODCAST15. Other ways to support us, you could join the Patreon. You could leave a review somewhere. You could buy a book on Amazon. Maybe tell someone about what we're doing. There are a lot of ways. If you are supportive of us, it helps us bring you more stuff. It helps us stay afloat. And hopefully, it makes you feel good about yourself. Because we're doing this to help you. And if you can help us help you, everybody wins. Just over two years ago, I put out an episode talking about First Cup. First Cup with Jeremy, the morning coffee show. In fact, now that I say that, I'm not even entirely sure we did an episode because I know we did a bunch of promotion and we do so much stuff, I forget. I pause to take a look. Yes, episode 361, announcing First Cup with Jeremy video show. Well, here we are a couple months later, a couple years later. <laughs> I'm distracted. And you know why I'm distracted? I'm distracted by this amazing moment of kismet that happened completely accidentally. Some of you won't believe me, but this is true. I did some research on how many episodes it was. We've done 529 episodes of First Cup. What episode number is this? 529. Not planned. I just knew it was time. What is First Cup? First Cup is this ridiculous morning show that I do at 6.30 a.m. Eastern on YouTube, where I get up, I'm wearing a bathrobe, and I drink my first cup of coffee live on the air. Now, of course, it's more than that. It's part vlog, you know, maybe one third vlog, if you know what that is, kind of a video log, a video diary. And the other two thirds is conversation about martial arts. And most of that comes from the questions, the comments that come in from viewers. Sort of an ask me anything, an AMA if you're fans of Reddit. And that show started as me just kind of blabbing about martial arts while I drank a cup of coffee. In fact, if you go back to early episodes, you'll see that I am not engaged. I am not awake. And I don't know what to say. But here we are, two years later, and I'd like to say I've gotten pretty good. Some episodes are 15 minutes. Some, we've, I think we've broken the 30-minute mark once. And it's a good way for me to wake up and talk about martial arts and set the tone of my day. I'm going to get up and put on a bathrobe and drink coffee. Anyway, I might as well do that and share that time with the people who want to watch. And we have some wonderful conversation. Sometimes the cat makes an appearance. And on today's episode, I'm going to talk about what that show has done for me and for martial arts radio. So even if you have no interest in First Cup, we're going to talk about skills, and we're going to talk about persistence and some of these other things that might apply to your life. Now, as I said, we do the show live on YouTube at 6.30 a.m. Eastern, but it's also available later to watch on YouTube or in any of your podcast feeds. And while it is nowhere near as big as Martial Arts Radio, it does have a loyal following, and that following is growing. In reflecting on where First Cup has gone, and you know, I refer to it as First Cup, but the official title is First Cup with Jeremy, and there's even a logo. You'll probably see the logo in your podcast feed if you're listening to this. I've changed. I have skills that I did not have prior to doing this show. For example, I'm much better on video. I am much more comfortable being in front of a camera with nobody else there. If any of you have experience being in front of a camera, you know, live streaming or anything like that, you know that it can be really challenging to engage with 
nothing. There's nobody there. There are no reactions for you to draw from. And if you follow along with Whistlekick Live, you've seen that I've gotten better with that. And much of it is because of First Cup. I do 20 or so episodes of First Cup every month. That's a lot of practice. That's hours of practice every month being live. If you want to get better at something, you've got to do it often. And what am I doing while I'm on camera, getting more comfortable? I'm improvising. The majority of Martial Arts Radio Thursday episodes that I do that are on subjects have little to no outline. When I started, I wrote out a ton. And again, you can go back, you can listen to those episodes, and you'll see I'm basically reading off of notes. Why? Because I needed to. But now, with First Cup, I've gotten really good at organizing my thoughts, even without caffeine. So I take that skill, I bring it back to martial arts radio, and yeah, I've got a few notes here in front of me, but I'm just kind of going along. I'm looking at them time to time, making sure that I hit the points that I need to. You don't know the difference. You don't know the order that I needed to put these things in. As long as it flows with some semblance of coherence, it works. And that's kind of the vibe of First Cup. I won't lie. There are days that I'm better than others. There are some where I can't construct a sentence until I'm done with that first cup of coffee. But hey, why not? I'm going to get up. I'm going to drink that coffee in that bathrobe anyway. The last thing it's really helped me with is answering questions and answering questions in a way that interrelate and connect dots back full circle. When I do an episode of First Cup, I try to let the questions or the comments carry me on a theme. And wherever it takes me, that's where I go. I don't hold back. I don't try to steer the conversation. In fact, I'm more open on First Cup than I am on any other platform because I don't have the ability to edit, to censor, to do second takes as I do with this show. First Cup, any live streaming, just like Whistlekick Live, it is what it is. If I botch a sentence, if I say something I regret, oh well, it's out there. I'm not going to change it because that's, that's not how we do it. Now, in the early stages, I really suffered because I didn't have anybody writing in. There were plenty of days that nobody watched. It was painful. So here I am, not only talking to nobody, I'm talking to literally no one. No one asked questions. No one engaged. And it was depressing. It was sad. But I said, you know, I believe in this concept. So let's keep going. And some of those early episodes are really short because I didn't know what else to say. So I would just end and go about my day. But now, here we are. There are a number of people, in fact, dozens of people, between listening and watching this show every day. Well, five days a week. And I would assume finding some value in it because they're coming back. One of the questions I ask myself, whether it's professional or personal, martial arts or non, is if I could go back, what would I do differently? And I don't ask that question because I'm regretful, but because I think there's a lot of wisdom in asking that question. If you know what you would have done differently, it can help guide what you will do differently in the future. So I asked myself the question as I was preparing for this, what would I do differently with First Cup going into it? And I've got to be honest, for one of the first times in my life, I wouldn't have done ever anything differently. The show became what it is out of the organic growth, out of the people who contributed, out of where I and they chose to take it. And there aren't too many things like that with Whistlekick. I, I work really hard to make sure that the things that we put out resonate for the people paying attention, that the traditional martial arts audience is not only engaged, but supported. Martial arts radio has changed, absolutely. But there are some things that I would do differently early on. Well, not we're not going to unpack those right now, but there are. First Cup is elegant in its simplicity. Again, it's me and a cup of coffee and my phone on a tripod. It's funny. I'm looking at my notes here now, and what's ironic is I was just about to go into a bit on how it's benefited me with my need to not look at notes. I already talked about that. I'm so good at not needing notes that I already mentioned that I don't need notes without looking at my notes. 
Now, I would be remiss at this point if I didn't shout out Frank. I don't know if he wants me to use his last name, so I won't. But Frank has stepped forward and is kind of the, he's the producer on First Cup. He makes sure I always have something to say, something to read, something to talk about. He's there just about every morning. And he is the one that takes care of making sure that it's available in audio. If you have listened to First Cup in audio form, you have Frank to thank. So thank you, Frank. You are the core of this show. Not this show. You're the core of First Cup. And a longtime listener to Martial Arts Radio. So thank you. I appreciate that. Now, if you want to check out First Cup, if you want to see more of me visually, which is a weird thing to suggest, but I get people asking for more video. This is the best way to see video. If you want to see more of Jeremy, let's say, uncut, without editing, first cup with Jeremy. The more people we have engaging with any sort of content, the better it gets. So this is sort of my request of you. If you enjoy martial arts radio, if you want more of martial arts radio, well, you're not going to get more martial arts radio, but I can offer you first cup. It's a little bit different. The style is different. The vibe is different. But it is available five days a week. So I hope you will consider checking it out. Again, it's live on YouTube, 6.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. But it's available anytime after that in video. And there's a delay of usually a couple days in audio if you want to check that out. But it's not like the stuff we're talking about is terribly timely, just like with martial arts radio. The stuff we're unpacking tends to be kind of broad view, macro martial arts conversation. Today, for example, we talked about martial arts and gardening and how the two relate. It was a good conversation. I enjoyed it. And I had a feeling that the people watching enjoyed it because they didn't all go away as soon as I started talking. YouTube.com slash whistlekick. You can also find it at firstcupwithjeremy.com. It's out there. Check it out. Check out all the things that we're doing. If you aren't following us on social media, we're at Whistlekick, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Those are the main places to really check out. We've got slightly different content that goes out over different channels and sometimes at different times. And the conversation, if nothing else, is different. In fact, if you take a look at the stuff that we do that is the same on Facebook and Instagram, you will see sometimes it gets really different conversation in one platform versus another. So if you're someone that appreciates that dialogue, make sure you're following us everywhere. And if you like the content that we put out and you're saying, you know, Jeremy, martial arts radio is great. First cup is great. Social media is great. Martial journal is great. I'm following everything and I still want more. Well, there's more. And the Patreon is the best place to get it. P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash whistlekick. Two bucks a month gets you blog posts. Five dollars adds in audio. Ten dollars adds in exclusive video. Twenty-five dollars gets you books and program releases as they come out. And they're even higher tiers there that get you private calls with me. I mean, we've got, we've got a ton of stuff out there for whatever you're willing to chip in to help offset the expenses. You can, of course, go to whistlekick.com, see everything we're doing, make a purchase in the store, First Cup 15. Nope, that's the wrong one. Podcast 15. I'm going to leave that in there. Yes, First Cup gets its own code so we can track who's paying attention to what the most. Podcast 15 gets you 15% off. And remember, If you see somebody wearing some whistle kick stuff out there, say hi, introduce yourself. And hopefully you're wearing something with whistle kick on it too. So you can compare and post a really cool selfie and tag me in it because that would make my day. If you want to email me, it's jeremy at whistlekick.com. Would love your guest suggestions, your feedback, any of that. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. What? Yeah.